Hi everyone and welcome back to another video from Psychology On Demand. Today I want to explore the impact of Facebook and Instagram on body image. I will then be exploring Dr. Veal's model on body dysmorphic disorder. This is a two-part video, so please do like and subscribe to be alerted on the release of part two. Their own research into the impact of its platform on body image found that there were adverse effects. ...images in our Instagram feeds, and Facebook research shows it's taking its toll on young teens. Quote, teens blame Instagram for increases in the rate of anxiety and depressions. For several years, Facebook has been investigating the impact of Instagram, which it owns, on its younger users, but never shared the data publicly until now. And researchers agree the app could be dangerous. And it's not just their research that suggests this. A journal in 2019 showed that young women can be heavily impacted by Instagram. They investigated the link between viewing and self-objectifying and suggested that the two main ways this impacts young women is through high standards of beauty and comparisons with others. They found that young women aged 18 to 25 years of age were more likely to self-objectify themselves. They also found that those who watched lots of fitness inspirational videos were more likely to have higher body dissatisfaction. One study investigated the use of filters. Filters were shown to increase problems with body dissatisfaction. They found that seeing unaltered natural pictures actually helped with women's body esteem. But it's not only women who are negatively impacted. One study found that in Western society, men also feel inadequate when using social media. In a recent review of the literature, there are stark warnings about social media use and targeted advertising. The journal states, the goal of advertising is to create a sense of deficiency within its audience. This review suggested that one aim for men is to invoke the feeling of emasculation to sell products. In today's society, there is an extra person in the room, Zuckerberg and his team of researchers. They work hard to make sure the average teenager is on social media one to three hours a day. This environment encourages editing of our image and focus on superficial parts of ourselves. One study found that 90% of the women they studied looked to edit their body when posting. This combined with the epidemic of online bullying is a poisonous concoction of problems leading to poor body image. BDD is where this is taken to another level. There is a highly critical self-image and the person would spend a lot of time trying to hide parts of their body. Veal's model for breaking down BDD involves the following elements. Seeing the self as an aesthetic object instead of a person. Negative thoughts of the self. Camouflage and avoidance behaviours. And strong emotions such as shame. In my next video I'm going to break this model down so that you can understand it further. I'll be giving a slow introduction to each part and how it all interacts.